Hello to all my friends and subscribers. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here I'm gonna make AutoCAD easy and a handy tool for you. Today we're gonna deal with arcs and all the different methods of doing it. Open your AutoCAD. I have here some four identical windows where we can practice on. We're gonna put some arcs on the top of these windows. And if you wanna create these simple windows, my units are in millimeters. And the dimensions are 1200 by 1000 millimeters. Then offset by 50 and draw a horizontal and a vertical line exactly on the midpoint of, of the figure. Then copy four times. So to draw an arc, you can type the keyboard shortcut A, enter. Then on the command line, specify start point. Let's pick somewhere here. Second point, let's just pick somewhere here. And on the end point, let's pick here. This is how simple it is to create an arc. Or you can also click this arc icon on the ribbon under the home tab. And when you click this pull down arrow under the arc icon, you will still find many options of creating the arc. The methods are grouped into five, but the main groups are the start center, start end, and the center start. The three-point arc is exactly as the same as what we did a while ago. Let's do this again in this window. But first, let me do a line with 300 millimeters height as my reference. So L, enter. Click at the midpoint. Turn on your F8 and put it upward. Then type 300. So let's do the three-point. Pick. Specify start point. Pick at the edge of the window. And on the second point, Pick at the edge of the line, and the end of the arc, pick at the other edge of the window. This is your arc. We can now delete this line because it's just a reference. Now let's do the first group, the start center end. Let me erase this uh, first arc that we did. And as the name suggests, you pick the start, and the second point that you will pick is always considered to be the center. So let's pick the first option, start center end. Specify start point, pick the end point of this window, and the sec center point of the arc, pick the midpoint of this window. Turn F8 off. As you can see, for some reason, the arc is formed in a counterclockwise direction. Hold the control key to reverse the direction. Now, specify end point of the car arc. You can define the end point anywhere on the screen, but now I like to pick this end point of the window. Now this is your arc, a perfect half circle arc. Now let's go to the second option, the start center angle. Pick, but this time we're going to pick the other edge of the window so that we will have the correct orientation and avoid holding the control key. So pick this end point of the window and of course the center, center of the window. And as you can see on the command line, it is asking for the include angle. This is the include angle. Actually, you can pick the include angle anywhere on the screen or you can simply type the value of it. Let's say 120 degrees. Enter. Here's your arc. And what is actually the include angle? If you draw a line from the center of the arc to the end, this is the include angle. 120. Now let us go to the last option under the start center group. The start center length. Pick it. Then same procedure. Pick the start point at the edge of this window. And the center point to be at the midpoint of this window. Which is also the radius. And now, the command line is asking for the length of the cord. You can actually define the length of the cord by clicking anywhere. As long as it will not exceed the diameter. Since the length of, length of this window is 1000, this is also the diameter. So you cannot exceed 1,000. So let's say 700. Enter. What is the length of the cord? The length of the cord is the distance between these two edges or two ends of the arc. If you draw a line from both ends, this is the cord of the arc. Now let us go to the second group which is the start end. And as the name suggests, you pick the start and the second point you will pick will be considered as the end of the arc. Before that, let me copy 
three windows CO for copy and click uh, somewhere on the lower part so now let's do the first option under the start end group the start end angle pick and for the start point of the arc pick the uh, end point of this window and the end point of the arc this end of course not this one and for the include angle this include angle is the same as the first one that we did on the start center angle this will determine the radius of the arc let's say 90 enter so this is now your arc the include angle is when you draw a line at both ends from the center of the arc this is the include angle and how do you make a perfect half circle arc in this option you can use 180 degree let's try start end angle pick this end point and this end point and 180 so this is now your arc the second option under the start end is the start end direction pick then pick both ends of the window as you can see there will be an imaginary tangent line that will appear i'm talking about this cream colored dotted line and the radius of the arc will be determined by the movement of this tangent line a quick reminder what a tangent line is a tangent line is a line that touches the curvature of an arc or a circle as you can see on the drawings you can pick randomly or as you can see there is an angle or you can uh, press f10 for polar tracking or just click this polar tracking icon under the status bar so you can pick randomly for now let's pick 90 degrees so this is now your arc now let's try the start and radius pick and pick both ends of the window as you will notice there will be an imaginary line that will appear this isn't the tangent line because it crosses not touches the curvature of the arc the bulge of this arc will be defined by the movement of this guideline you can also define the arc by entering some value which is always equal to the halfway distance of both ends of the arc the length of this window is 1000 so you can enter either 500 or higher no arc will be formed if you go lower than its halfway distance so let's say 700 so this is now your arc now we will do the last group the center start and by its name you are creating the arc by defining first the center and the start point of the arc let's pick the first option which is center start end pick so we pick the center we pick the start and the end as you can see you can randomly pick the end anywhere on the screen or you can type the angle that you desired you can also reverse the direction of the arc by holding the control key so for now i'll just have to pick the other ends of the window next is the center start angle click it and we have the center start and it will be asking for the include angle similar to the what to what we did on the start center angle except that it is started on the center and to define the end of the arc simply click the angle or enter the value of the angle that you need let's try 135 enter so this is the include angle if you draw a line in the center and end of this arc this is the include angle then we have the center start length click again center start and in the command line it is asking for the length of the cord which is similar to what we saw on the start center length except that this time it started on the center and same as the other options you can pick the length randomly or simply enter the desired value so for now let's say 900 enter so the cord refers to the distance between both ends of the arc and then we have the last the continue which creates an arc exactly on the object that you last draw whether it is an arc a polyline or line i'll draw a polyline here enter then continue 
will draw an arc exactly on the last object that I did, which is this polyline. So there you have the arcs and all the different ways of doing it. Please comment on which option is very useful to your work. For me, I always use the, the three point and the center start end because I find it easier than the other options. Thank you for watching. If you learned something, please do me a favor by clicking the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon for future contents. Thanks very much and God bless.